Hey guys, Greg Denny. Beautiful morning here. We rented a cabin uh, up in the forests of southwestern Germany. It's just incredible. So I, I love sports. I love playing ball. I grew up playing volleyball and football and baseball, and I just just love getting you know competitive and having fun and getting out there and having a blast. And as uh, over the years, of course, several times it's happened where. A ball gets you know, ran over or smashed or, or a seam kind of breaks and it gets a little lopsided, right? Maybe you've experienced that too. And and you can't play with a lopsided ball. Well, you think about that for a second. You try playing volleyball with a lopsided ball, right? You bump it or set it or spike it. Whoop, 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 right? It just goes off. Well, too many of us are like lopsided balls in that, uh, imagine this with me, that as a person, we want to grow, right? We're, we want to grow and expand and become our very best self. And we're like this hole, right? This the center. Not a whole H-O-L-E, but a W-H-O-L-E, like a whole person. And it's, it's holistic. And we're trying to grow from the center and we're trying to expand out to become bigger and better. And a lot of us are only expanding in one or two areas, and it makes it kind of like a lopsided ball, right? We're all over the place. And I want to challenge you to expand in all ways, in every direction from the center, from your core. And so in education, right? Education just isn't merely academic. It's not just learning facts and figures. As we grow and expand, we need to grow in perspective, right? In your paradigm, in your reality. And this includes you know, everything from learning about other religions and other cultures, other places inside your own country, and then other countries. I mean, it's, it's just, I, I love it. It's just, when I travel, I just am expanding and growing and understanding and perceiving new things, even even simple things, uh, some of the things they do in Germany, you know, just some of the simple uh, commodities in stores and houses, it, it's just these simple things. Like, wow, what a fantastic idea, right? The, the way they do things, it, it's just amazing. And Rachel and I are, are going around like, wow, I love this. Oh, I love that. And it's just these little things. That they do so differently that it's just they grew up with it. It's normal for them, but for us it's new and it expands how we do things, uh, relationships, right? How others interact, and we need to expand in our relationships and our ability to interact with other people, even people who we disagree with, and who have very strong opinions and ideas in a different direction, right? Are you expanding in your ability to relate to and lead others? Are you expanding your paradigm reality so you don't just spend your whole life thinking, well, it's, that's the way it is. Just because the way it is in your little world, you think that's the way it is. Well, there's so many different ideas and so many different ways to live that are all great. And some are not so great. You need to be able to see that. Are you expanding in character? Right? Becoming a, just a really great person. Right? Superbly good Expanding in your in your goodness, in your greatness. How about the education of your desires, right? What you want and what you should want. And raising that standard of desire and the quality of the kind of life you want to live. I'm not talking about just materialism here and luxury. I'm just talking about the kind of person you want to be and the kind of life you want to live in, and raising that standard. Are you expanding in your emotional mastery? Right? That's part of education, to educate your emotions. And most of us don't think like that, right? We're educating your emotions. Well, we need to have emotional mastery. We need to educate those emotions so that we're expanding emotionally too and getting, getting a, a good, whole, and well-rounded being that it educates those emotions too, that we're in charge and we're not you know, flying off the handle in, in anger or, or depression or you know, just allowing anything to, these emotional 
roller coasters? How about the education of your mindset and your attitude? Are you expanding that mentally, that you have an abundant mentality and a can-do mentality, right? And, and that you can handle difficulties and obstacles and challenges, right? Are, are you growing in that mindset and, and your thought habits and your thinking patterns? You see what I'm saying? We need to grow in every way, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Are you underdeveloped and maybe a little you know, emaciated or, or atrophied spiritually? Right? It's, it, it's beautiful. I love this. I love personal growth. I've been studying personal growth and peak performance for over 20 years. 20 years. And, and in all of this, we just have to keep Growing and expanding, not like a lopsided ball, but as a well-rounded whole. By getting education in all those great areas and seeking to become our very best selves. Now, if you're watching this anywhere else besides my website, please visit gregdenning.com. Put in your name and email. I'll send you some great stuff. You know, proven strategies to help you grow and expand and become your very best self. Reach out.